I regret not kissing her by Private Duke. I used to be friends with this one girl. We'll just call her Jennifer. It seemed like it was just yesterday. I guess I should go back to when I first met her. It was 1980. A lot of bad stuff was happening with both of our families and going through a divorce and whatnot. But that's how our first conversation started. We first met when we were eight years old. She was seven. We bonded really quickly as children. And we stayed neighbors in the same neighborhood for a while. It is now 1990. We both graduated from school. We had promised each other we'd go to the same college together and be bunkmates. Just like old times. I got a call one day to have her tell me that she'd changed her mind at the last minute. I was already accepted, and if I had dropped out, it wouldn't have looked good for the other colleges that she was in. She was in a higher up college than the one we planned to go on. They'd never accept me if the last college said I dropped them out after just a day before, but I'm rambling back to the story. Once she told me that she was going to a different college, and I had told her I was already accepted, she went quiet. Hello, Jenny. She spoke with a tone a voice, as if she'd been crying for hours. Yeah, I'm here, sorry. I was never... Never mind, congratulations. I didn't think of it at first, then she asked me. Hey, can we meet up a day before we go to our colleges? I didn't hesitate and said, Sure, I'd love to meet up again. She sounded happy, but then had to go. The day came that we met up and ran up to me and hugged me crying. Hey, it's nice to see you. She stopped hugging and looked up at me. She'd actually had been crying for a while as it looked. Listen, I need to tell you something before it gets any worse. That thrown me off. Because she was never this serious before. What? What is it? You can tell me anything. She was a about to speak but then she her watch went off out of nowhere she tried to kiss me I blocked our lips thinking she was tripping then she looked confused you don't want to kiss me I looked at her all right what is this about she didn't say anything and she ran off I heard a car screech and then a fud I ran Jenny! I ran over, and there she was, lying in a pool of her own blood. Jesus Christ, I didn't see her! Screamed the bus driver. I punched the bus driver, then dialed 911. She looked like her bones had been crushed by the bus, but she was only hit. Please, just get over here now! I screamed at the operator, but by the time they got here... She had lost a lot of blood. She was rushed to the hospital, and I stayed by her bedside the entire time. Never went to sleep, always watching. She couldn't breathe out of either of her lungs. Her legs were broken. Some patches of the skin were road burned, missing skin, and her neck was patched up. She looked so beautiful, but I couldn't tell her that. After four days of no sleep, she finally awoke, but in a frantic breathing notion. I called the nurse, but Jennifer looked at me. She stopped panicking and said, I'm glad you stayed. Then I heard the horrible, one-toned beep. The nurse came and told me, I have some news to tell you. I looked at her and she said, I know, she's gone. The nurse looked confused at me and said, You just now said goodbye? I looked at her very angrily and yelled, Of course I did! She's gone! The nurse showed me a clipboard 
In it was Jenny's death certificate. It read, Jennifer Rosen, time of death, Thursday the 4th, 4.30, cause of death, blood loss and head trauma. The same data that she, the same date that she got hit by the car just a few hours after the ambulance had arrived. I looked at this and said, you can't be serious. She just woke up and told me that. The nurse interrupted me and said, she's been dead for the past three days, Dominic. I'm sorry. To think that the last thing that happened and that her closest friend that she had a crush on died with the feeling of regret, of reject. The last thing she ever saw was me yelling at her, Jennifer, I'm sorry. I wanted to go on, but no, I can't. I'm coming, Jenny, real soon.